And with that, the heavy equipment can move in to build Norfolk State University's brand new residence hall. 13 News Now is on campus today as university administrators broke ground on the 740 bed building. It's one of several big changes coming to NSU. 13 News Now reporter Jacqueline Lee has the details. Jana and David, the university is getting a new dorm and leaders are also searching for a new president. Big changes, all part of fulfilling the university's mission to put students first. The dirt and the tools are as symbolic as they are self-explanatory. Norfolk State University is expanding. Three. A new housing complex will allow another 740 students to live on campus. They're happy about it. We spoke about what we needed and they heard us. It makes us feel like this is our home. We definitely need some more new buildings, more places for us to live. Vice President of Finance Gerald Hunter said an increase in demand to live on campus spurred the construction. We also have a need to upgrade our current housing stock in order to be competitive with uh, other institutions around the state. And part of staying competitive includes stability. It's no secret Norfolk State has had its problems. The university had its accreditation placed on probation in 2014, due in part to financial auditing issues. In the past seven years, the university saw three different presidents. Hunter said that put the university at a disadvantage. While we've had a series of leaders, what we've done is we've just built on the talents of that particular leader during that time. Uh, however, that is not a replacement for having uh, a long-term leader. But the university turned itself around. The Board of Visitors is in the middle of searching for a new president. Hunter said picking the right one is critical to fulfilling the university's vision. The opportunities to partner with the community is tremendous. Uh, it's just a matter of time. A vision that puts students first and will lead to even greater student enrollment. The new housing complex is seen as a step in that direction. Construction for the residence hall is expected to finish in December of 2019. As for the presidential search, a committee is asking for public input on what characteristics they want in a new president. Two local listening sessions are scheduled for August. Live in studio, Jacqueline Lake, 13 News Now. Right now, there are seven residential halls on Norfolk State's campus. They are available for both under and upperclassmen. The apartment style Spartan Suites community opened in 2005. Norfolk State was established in 1935 as the Norfolk unit of Virginia State University. Back then, just 85 students took part in the first classes. That has grown to 6,200 undergrads and around 800 postgrads.